Virgos, hey my lovies, welcome back to another video. Let's see what the energy is between you and your person. Let's see if spirit will show us what may be coming towards you that you don't see coming. What is the energy between you and your person? Let's see. Let's see what comes out for you. This just is gonna be um, you just going for it. Let's go for it, okay. Hi, everybody. To all my newcomers and new family members, I am Empress Meek. Hello. I'm your spiritual guide here, bringing you a multitude of love, light, and positive energy on your path. I am here to touch and agree with you and shine the light on a few things that you may not be able to see and also give you messages that spirit has um, been wanting you to pay attention to. Also, I'm here to help you elevate. This is the channel of motivation, acceleration, encouragement, and healing energy so let's go ahead and get into it virgos if you want a prayer or you're looking for your extended prayer you guys know i do one each and every day most of the time i do one for each video i also pray before i get on camera so this is very much a safe place for you so get comfortable okay <laughs> but um if you want your extended prayer check the video out that i posted previously okay holy spirit divine spirit holy angels ancestors and spirit guys give me a clear message for my virgo lovies Show Virgo what energies may be coming toward them that they may not see coming. What energies are coming toward Virgo that they may not see coming? Thank you for blocking and binding all negative energy entities, witchcraft, and wickedness, and giving us messages of clarity, truth, love, and light. Okay, let's see. Underneath the bottom of the deck, Virgo, Spirit wants you to know that luck is on your side. Some of you guys could um, be dealing with a fire sign or have Sag in your chart, but Spirit wants you to know to not worry about it. Luck is on your side. Something here regarding a Sagittarius or a certain situation will work in your favor. For some of you guys, it is involving a love situation like we're looking into. Um, so for those of you who may feel down about your situation, who may be wondering what's going to happen, Spirit says, don't worry about it. Things are going to work out in your favor. The will will turn again. So if you're not having victory in this situation, don't worry, you will. Okay, let's see what else is here. Next, we have the answers you need are coming, and hopefully I'll be able to help you guys a lot with that, but Spirit also has some signs and downloads that you'll be receiving in regards to this issue or situation that you may be, that you may be facing right now, okay? So what I'm getting to tell you is keep your mind open and also keep your energy clear, okay? So you can be open to receive this. Um, full, full moon energy is here. So that is the moon that comes to help you release and start over. That is the moon of new beginnings. A lot of you guys, if you saw that previous video, then you know that you do have some new energy coming towards you after closing a tough cycle. For those of you who haven't really closed a cycle out, um, Spirit wants you to know that whatever this is that you're contemplating on or you need help with, the answers you need are coming. And for somebody, um, just and I could be significant here. Camera, we're not fooling with you today. I need you to be focused. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, guys. Let's see what our spirit wants you to know. Then we have, but the overall energy here for this read is luck is on your side. So don't worry about it. Everything is going to pan out just how it's supposed to. All right. Let's see what else. So the next card that we have is, hold on, guys, because I need to fix this camera. Okay, guys, so that should be better. And what do I do with my card? So we have a new romantic cycle begins. That's not the card that I just had. I actually set them all down. But a new romantic cycle is about to begin with somebody. Somebody could have met a Libra that um, they are interested in. So this Libra energy is coming towards you, Virgo, possibly. Um, doesn't have to be. But I feel like this is more so representing balance, karmic balance, justice for you. And I feel like you've been working on this for a long time. Working on yourself so you can bring in the partner that you want. And I feel like what you want is definitely coming the scales are balancing out for you um i did get that the wheel is turning in your favor so definitely um let's see where's the other card that i had that is crazy i don't know where the other card went did i drop it i feel like it was another one i know it was it'll come to me so be bold and make the first move is here. All right. So 
it's something that you may need to do for some of my males maybe you need to be bold and make the first move somebody is knowing how to let a man lead so they're very much waiting to see what you want to do so they can follow your lead here so don't be shy okay be bold and make the first move for some of my ladies now this person may um, not be sure if you want to be serious or are you going to use them do you want to play with them you're very beautiful it's intimidating so they don't really know so you can break the ice by saying something or asking a certain question signifying it that you know you're open to be a little more serious than just casual all right so for some of you don't let pride get in your way all right with with this card this may be the card that i was talking about it says full moon in leo so leo could be significant we have sag and gemini on the board and libra so somebody i feel definitely is dealing with the air sign here but um, full moon in Leo is here and don't let pride get in your way. I feel like when it comes to this love situation and those of you who are experiencing new love right now, don't be afraid to make the first move and set the tone for your relationship. I feel like a lot of you have an idea of how you want your love life to look and what you want your relationship to be like now that you've learned so many lessons. So there is a great need for you to express yourself um, wholeheartedly um, without holding back in this particular relationship. Spirit is testing your resolve to see how much you've learned and how much um, are you gonna apply to this particular relationship, okay? Um, so last but not least, nothing is yet set in stone. So don't forget that you're still building, you're still creating, whether it be work, love, or life. Don't forget that, okay? So you're always able to change your story or, or change your picture from what it looks like, just like an artist with a painting. You know, it starts off looking one way and before you know it, it's so many things that get added in to create a whole new world on a canvas. And I feel like this is how you should look at your life, okay? So Spirit is saying nothing is yet set in stone. Don't forget that, okay? And don't doubt yourself, all right? So real quick, I'm gonna pull out a card to see exactly where spirit is going with this for you and see what it is that you may need to know about a situation that may be surrounding you i just saw a ten of swords so somebody very much feels heartbroken um let's see what's going on with virgo and their person lover situation so somebody this is a divine union for somebody partnerships intellectual energy so this is giving that air sign energy where you guys can have an intellectual conversation i feel i hear making love to my mind somebody is making love to somebody's mind okay really stimulating your mind and you guys can talk about so much um this feels like a very mature connection and i feel like you're enjoying this okay Virgo, let me find out okay Somebody is definitely enjoying this new romantic cycle. Um, and I feel like whatever answers that you need are coming. What does these answers have to do with spirit? What is this answers that they need are coming? Five of Pentacles, isolated, discon disconnected, lacking and lost. So I feel like somebody could feel disconnected from their person. Um, and I feel like the answers you need are coming in regards to how to get back together with this person, how to forget what happened, how to close this cycle out. This could definitely have something to do with a Gemini also, okay, with this lover's card here. So it doesn't have to be in a lover situation, but I feel like it does have to do with a lover situation. I feel like somebody is wondering what happened with their person. Is somebody dealing with somebody else? Somebody could feel isolated or disconnected with their partner. Hmm. And I feel like that's where this new romantic cycle begins. Somebody wants to know, how can I heal from this faster? Let's see. A new romantic cycle begins for Virgo. Show me clearly, please. Five of Swords, aggression, battles, control, and dominance. Okay. So I feel like this is somebody that's feeling left out in the cold from you. I also feel like this is somebody that you're you, you're definitely avoiding. Five of Swords here, I feel like because this person can be very aggressive and arguing. For some of you, this is a mental conflict, what you're thinking and telling yourself, okay? Um, this could be definitely you in a place where you're overthinking or you're not, um, it's like self-doubt um yeah it could be an inner battle i hear i feel like for somebody it's a mental battle because you feel like you know you're not healed from something from the past 
or either like you keep finding these lover situations and people that just aren't suitable for you. But Spirit wants you to know that you have a new cycle that is going to begin. Somebody could have started a cycle and somebody is sneaky. Deceit, lies, and untrustworthy. So this caused a battle. I feel like, I honestly feel like you still old. Okay, so somebody here is definitely dealing with the earth sign. And this earth sign is a liar. They're aggressive. They are confrontational. And they are, I feel like this person is something wrong with this person. They got a lot of mental conflict. This is a person that don't want to take no for an answer. That acts like they can't comprehend. So when it comes to a new romantic cycle begins, I feel like this Libra energy is here because it's representing the King and Queen of Swords. I feel like it's a lot of fighting between you two. And I feel like you're standing your ground like that no means no type of energy. I feel like you very much are settled in your decision in this situation. Somebody just can't get it. I feel like this person just sneaks and spies and just is, something is wrong with them, right? You already told them no, whoever this is. And they are insisting that you have some type of lover situation. It's almost like this person feels like you owe them something. Something is wrong with them. I feel like you're going to have to be bold and make a move. Like you're going to be have to be bold and say something. What's this be bold and make the first move? The world. Yeah, you're going to have to make sure that this is finalized. Ending completely. So you can come into a new beginning. I feel like somebody is daggone getting aggressive or something. Or being hostile because you don't want them. Like, what's the problem? No means no. Like, get a life. Like, what? How you going to beat somebody or just tear up somebody's car and stuff like that because they don't want you? What? Like, somebody get the straight jacket. I'm not playing with these people. Show me King of Pentacles. Virgo, is this you or them? I feel like this is them. Virgo, this is you walking away, starting over, okay? This is you leaving out of this situation Closing the cycle for good. Spirit says you're going to have to make the first move and say, look, leave me alone. Stay out of my energy. Mind your business. Stop. I don't owe you anything and I don't want anything to do with you. Get out of my life, period. You're going to have to tell them this, all right? Somebody is going to have to be bold and just say what you need to say so you can get out of this situation. Luck is on your side. So your divine protection is here. I feel like your help is here, okay? Don't let pride get in your way for Virgo. Empress energy, a divine feminine here that's abundant, very loving, very full of um, pregnant with ideas and possibilities that can help everyone. All right. And there's a lot of growth in your life. You have a lot of abundance around you. And I feel like this person like sees that and it's making them pursue you more and more. But don't let pride get in your way. OK, you know where you stand at the same time. Um, don't flaunt. Don't be so quick to flaunt this. In people's face and then you have a, a hard time getting rid of the people that you don't want for my feminines here okay this has something to do with somebody who could be around your work or around somewhere where you are residing all right i feel like this also is some marriage for somebody somebody could be somebody's wife and their husband is off the chain i'm like hearing like you're like i don't want anything to do with this crazy blah 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 Okay, that was some cuss words, okay? Like, somebody really is serious about getting away from this person, all right? I feel like you are leaving. Somebody here is moving, relocating. This could be you or the other person. Here's the good news here. Somebody could have been receiving some money. Um, but I feel like this situation takes careful planning, solid prospects. So I feel like you had an invitation or offer um, on a home, that you could take because somebody finally wants to start over and get away from this person. Finally, you're strong enough to get up and leave. Like for some of y'all, y'all been with this person for way too long and they've been getting away with murder. Somebody is sick of it. Be bold and make the first move. Use your intuition. You have spiritual knowledge and you know what you need to do. Hidden secrets. I feel like this is a big reason why this person is getting left behind. Some of y'all are ending it with a Pisces that is very aggressive and angry. Somebody is a real mean drunk. This person get drunk and say and do whatever. Um, I feel like there's definitely a need for you to reevaluate how you're moving in this situation because this person is watching you. Show me more. 
We got a recognized victory and multiple choices. Opportunities are arising for you. Because you're standing in your power and you're stronger now and you realize that you need to walk away. All right, you realize how you're going to do it, okay? Spirit wants you to know that nothing is just set in stone, so there is no rush. Seven of Cups energy is telling you to take your time and choose wisely, okay? Don't rush this. You know, you made it this far. You can just wait a little while longer to make sure that you get the situation that is perfect for you. So take your time here. But I do see good news. I do see a victory. I see a new relationship coming in. And I see a new home coming for you. All right. So it's okay to take this leap of faith. Trust God. Um, I feel like this person is going to get moved out of your life. Period. They, they're about to get dismissed. However... All right, but there is the energy here of a whole life change, a relocation, spiritual quest, and moving on. Eight of Cups energy. You're getting your wings and you're flying away. And this person is trying to figure out what you're doing. They're spying on you. They're so nosy. Uh, but you have fresh ideas, new ideas, new ways to go around whatever traps this person is setting. This is a brand new beginning for you that's gonna bring you a lot of happiness. Somebody here is moving away from all the conflict and negativity and arguing. You don't need it. Luck is on your side. And that, here you go with the, uh, I keep every time, like these last two readings is ending in fireworks, okay? All of this good news coming in for you, right? So get ready for that. Prepare yourself. It's nothing wrong with you being an expectation of the great things that you deserve that are about to happen in your life. You deserve it. Time for you to block this person. Stop ignoring the fact that it's time for you to move on, okay? Some of y'all are ignoring this person. Like, I'm not paying this person no mind. We walk, up, walk past each other every day and I don't even see them. And you shouldn't because they deserve it. The way they act over here, disrespectful, rude, crazy, battling all the time and all sneaky like ew don't nobody like that energy Ugh, yes don't nobody like it i, I couldn't say nobody likes that because it's deeper than that it's don't nobody like that okay period all right <laughs> i love you guys thank you for being here with me this was just a quick read to tell you what's coming towards you and your overall energy um this is what i feel for you so it's cool for me to stop right here let me get you another self-love affirmation card, even though we pulled one out of the other deck. See what I get. All right. This is what Spirit wants you to know that will help you bring in true love. All right. Be what you seek. Let your desires inspire you to transform and match the vibration of what you want. Okay, so work on yourself, work on your life. Make sure that you're vibrating right where the type of person is vibrating that you will want, okay? For some of y'all, I know y'all like, dang, that's a lot of work, but hey, it's worth it if that's what your heart desires, right? Because spirit already is telling you, you can have it. This is what you gotta do to get it. Be what you seek. Y'all see it? Okay, I love you so much and I will see you later on on our live. Bye, my loves. Bye, bro.